which is all good. I've said it often. One of the biggest traits you got to find somebody who wants your job, wants it, and can pull the trigger. That's Scott Swiper, right? And so I think that says a lot about him as well. How long have you known Scott? How far is that relationship? Well, when he's at Kentucky, why is that? Uh, at Kentucky, but really the relationship got firmed up when he since he's been AD in Mississippi State. You know, mm -hmm. I just we did our, we did our pass in cross when he was at Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Obviously, being two ADs, they passed often. You know, you know, SEC meetings all the time, basketball tournaments, NCAA meetings, whatever have you. So, um, you know, and then I said over the last probably three years, maybe three and a half years, four, he and I have become really close. Right? And, um, this isn't about me and him being friends. It's about me knowing him, knowing what makes him tick, knowing what's in his heart, knowing how he does business, knowing what he stands for, um, knowing how he treats people, knowing how he'll value this staff and these coaches. That's what excites me. You know, at the end of the day, I love this place. You know I do. I care about these people. You know I do. And I just want them to be in good hands. They're in great hands, in my opinion. So you rest easy knowing that, that he'll be overseeing yes. this program? Yes. Yes. You know, and obviously, in the future, there's no guarantees in the future, just like when you hire a coach. But my confidence and level in him is off the charts. And especially my confidence in how he's going to take care of these people, treat them. You know, we have a very cohesive athletic department. You know what I mean? We don't. And we all get along every day, but we get along most of the time. And we have fun together, we value each other, we respect each other, we interact together, we have fun together, we win together, we lose together. And that environment, I think, is a big part of our success. And I very th much think he will continue that. And so, yeah, I do rest easy. How important is his fundraising background, uh, considering the, the, the renovations? I think it's huge. Obviously, we got some things to do. We, we talked about that when we met, you know, a week or so ago, whenever that was. You know? So. He's done a great job raising money for facilities in, um, in Starkville, and I think he'll do some great things here. And you know, hopefully, I can I can help him. Excuse me. I think I can help him a little bit because I know a lot of people get him in front of some people. But um, we'll get those facilities done, you know. And um, you know, the plan was put on the table, as I said a couple weeks ago. But he was fully aware of what we were contemplating, and obviously, he's fully on board on what we're going to go get done. What have you discussed with him about your role going forward, how you want to kind of collaborate or be there for him? Uh, he'll determine that. You know, I mean, again, I'll be very respectful. I'm not trying to be the AD behind the curtain. I mean, I was the AD, and um, I made the decision, as we've all, you know, we've all talked about my decision. But all I care about is the University of Florida uh, being successful. You know, um, Billy Donovan came and talked to us at our staff retreat this year about change. Obviously, this organization went through change. He went through change. He just made the comment, all of us have responsibility to make sure the next guy doesn't fail. Okay? Uh, first of all, he's not going to fail. And, uh, all of us can do everything we can to help him not fail. And I'm going to play my part in that. You know, I you know, I respect him. I respect the decision he's made. And I want to do all I can to help him. But that's going to determine where he wants me. You know, I'm not going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to be, Coach Perry already has the ambassador title. And he has the consultant title. So I don't know what I'm going to be. He doesn't have the Meredith style, I got that. <laughs> but I'm going to be here to help Scott Smith be successful and help the Gators be successful. And so we'll, we'll, we'll refine that, obviously, as, as, the days, as the days go forward. Yeah. The city loves college baseball. I mean, does it seem like you have baseball program is you know, good, good hands on them? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, Mississippi State's famous for the baseball. They've done a great job of that. And they, they won the conference out a year ago. Played for it all a couple years ago. So, you know, he understands what big time baseball is about. And obviously, he knows. We're a big time baseball coach. And, you know, they were trying to do some things with their facility out there. Now he's just going to try to do some things to our facility here. But, yeah, he, no question baseball is, is important to him. But I think you heard him say all these sports are important. You're going to line up, put on the orange and blue, regardless of the sport. That's nothing that excites me because that's how I feel. That's how I've always felt. You know, my passion was for our total sports program, and that's exactly how Scott feels. You know, maybe that's why he and I have become close, because I know how he values all student athletes. Was there any more important criteria than finding someone who shared that belief that all sports, uh, and you do excel in all sports, not just? Well, obviously the honesty and integrity part, mm -hmm. you know. But, you know, certainly for this place, I think, you know, to me that's part of the fit. Mm -hmm. And for every search we have around here, any sport, to me the biggest key is making sure it's the right fit. And you, if you don't value all the sports here, you're not a right fit. And um, Scott has a track record of that. Scott believes that in his heart. And I, and I believe it, obviously, that's, that's who he is. And that's, that's why he is attractive. That's why we are blessed to have